Hello everyone, in this lecture I am going to explain you about power of 3 program and power of 2 program. For both programs we can apply same logic. So here that logic also we can, means I can apply within one, one line of code, okay. So here the given power of 3, given an integer n, written true. If it is a power of 3, otherwise written false. An integer n is a power of 3, if there exists an integer x such that n is equal to 3 power x. So here in this example 1, they given input n equal to 27. So we need to find this input is the power of 3 or not. If it is happening, it means if it is the power of 3, then the output should be written true. Else the output should return false. Here n equal to 0, it is not power of 3. So it is it is returning false statement. Here in this example 3, 9 is the power of 3. So here the output is also a true. And here in this example 4, they given n equal to 45. So here 45 is not power of 3. So here the output should return false. So here the logic for this program written math dot log 10 of n by math dot log 10 of power of 3 right so here i am mentioning 3 mod 1 is equal to 0 this is the logic for this now i will run this program accepted so here the logic behind this is here in this written statement i am mentioning math dot log 10 of n here what is the input we are giving that will be stored over here and by math dot log 10 of 3 here we need to find the power of 3 or not so here i am mentioning 3 and here it will return 1 and 1 divided by 1 if it is equal to 0 then it will return true statement if this condition is false then it will return false statement so now i will check whether this is this will be success or not yeah success now i will do for power of 4 I think for power of 4 also we can apply same logic. So in this power of 4 we can apply same logic. So here the we will see the question. Given an integer n written true if it is the power of 4 otherwise it should return false. An integer n is a power of 4 if there exists an integer x such that n equal to 4 power x. So here in this example 1 they give an input is 16. So here 16 is the power of 4 right. So it will return true statement and equal to 5. 5 is not the power of 4. So here it will return false statement. So here in this example 3 it is giving n equal to 1. Here it is returning true. So now, now we can apply the logic for this. Return same logic math dot log 10 of n by math dot log 10 of here power of 4 right so 4 divided by 1 is equal to 0 now we'll check the condition it will accept or not yeah accepted so here in if you have any queries, you can mention your doubts in commentary session and please do like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.